So a cannibal once took my sister to see a Russell Crowe movie. Gladiator? No, I really miss her. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Time for another shave. It's been a while. Um, you may have seen uh, my tour of the London shave shops and my search for the palm olive stick, which I still haven't found. Uh, sorry about the uh, neck turning motion. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I was uh, actually quite stressed out and in intimidated by the whole experience. They're so posh, those shops, jeez. Um, I meant to I meant to go in to at least one of them and ask, Hello, do you have the palm olive stick? Because it's funny, because that's the cheapo thing and they're really posh. But I just got so intimidated that I said, Hello, I took my hat off and can I film in your shop? And I could, in, except for one, so... So that's cool, and then I wasn't really meaning to buy any soaps, but I'm so polite and well brought up that I felt I had to, so I bought one in each shop. Um, I hope they're not shit, they're expensive. Today we're doing UF Trumper, which I shouldn't, because those bastards wouldn't let me sh um, film. Uh, well, the staff was really nice actually, maybe the nicest staff of all that I came across, but the owner, I shouldn't use those words. The owner has a policy and she, you know, what do I know? So brand new, the uh, Eucris. Um, this supposedly is a shave that is mentioned in, in Fleming's books about James Bond. And uh, so it's the James Bond soap. And Fleming himself came into the shop apparently. <sighs> Oh, lovely. Sent notes of God knows what, because I'm not that kind of person to do sent note comments. Razor today. Oh, wow. If I may say so. A Parker near wedge. Look at the condition of that thing. And bloody believable. It's so close to mint, it's incredible. And it's not over, but it's, it's like new because the stamps are all perfect, etc. Uh, pretty wedgy, let's call that a near wedge, shall we? Um, you can see the, the label on the, on the scales, plastic scales. Beautiful. And yeah, there we go. Focus. Do like the pros. Oh, come on. Come on, focus. Can you see? Swedish steel. What else? So we're doing that. We're doing the Eucharist. See if it's any good. I hear you have to work at it. Scott Owl, thank you for the tip. No practice, we're just doing it off the bat, as the Yanks say. Jeff Anderson, GA7, so that'll be fun. So it comes in this bowl of cheap wood of an exotic kind, hopefully not rainforest cut down, but probably. I did it again, sorry guys, if, you, if you're watching from GF Trumper, what do I know? Oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic smell. Okay, so something's hard about this. Uh, Scott says, was it Scott? Yeah, it was Scott, wasn't it? Load, load, load. So we're loading, loading, loading. But it appears to lather pretty easily. As with hard, old hard soaps, um, Some people in my family don't realize I have like a million followers and doing this to support the family. Um, where was I? I don't know. See where this goes. Oh yeah, hard soaps, really throffy, frothy, what's the word? Lather. And you go, wow, is, that, is this ever gonna work? 
and it typically does. I don't know if I have enough, I'll load some more. I have soaps to last me till I die and then I give them to my son and he can use them till he dies and I don't smell anymore. And then monkeys or machines run the earth and we don't know if they shave, so. So I'll only make sure I have enough for me and my son until we die. Voila. Yeah, so those shaving shops, they're, they're so posh. I mean, I like certain things in London, like shoe shops. Um, I don't buy shoes very often, but I like to buy nice and pricey ones. I go in, I sweat because it's, everyone is so posh. But I do it because I like the stuff. I save up to buy shoes. I buy a pair every three years, but you know, I maintain them and I keep them and they're nice and I'm going to give them to my son so he can use them till he dies. And then after that, either monkeys or machines will run the earth and we don't know if they wear shoes. Well, monkeys typically don't and machines, why should they really? Unless they're human, humanoid and they might, but would they wear really expensive? you know, handmade in Northampton. I don't know. Okay, a bit of focus. Clearly have enough soap, so. Still is very. Very much like bath foam, the top. Can you tell my English is rather more English than usual? Because I've been in. London and I've been in Mayfair which is what I think the the area is called where the shaving shops are so you poshify your English a little bit until it sounds like someone from Edinburgh who's been to fancy English school ah oh, did I kill it Put a lot of water in. So on purpose I didn't practice this allegedly difficult soap. Just so you could see what a first time experience is like. Now I wasn't paying attention. Oh, oh it smells so good. Okay, got a problem here. It's all th th frothy, frothy. Possibly too much water. I have soap up my nose. This will be a terrific video. Oh, it was really good before and then I ruined it. Crap. I ruined it. Oh, met some people with cool accents in, uh, in London. I won't do invitations, but there were scousers there, most people from Liverpool. They have the coolest accent. Well, if you're from Manchester, you won't think so. So, but I think it was pretty cool. And there were Scots there. We like Scottish accents. I'm doing something wrong. This is really good publicity for GOF Trump herself, isn't it? The only thing I can think of is that I put too much water in it because it was nice and then I, you know what, I'll go again. Will you bear with me? Ah, oh, crap. Ha. Do over. Hang on. No point in killing yourself and the soap by cooking up all the time. Okay. New slate, fresh slate, as we call it. Oh, that's soap in my eyes. Ha! 
whoever wants to come into the bathroom will be really happy. Hi, welcome. This is Shaven Butcher, and today we're today today we're trying out Australian soap. Today we're trying out Eucris from Gof Chomper for the first time. We've never tried it before, so we're going in with a reasonably dry brush because we think there's a risk. You know, judging from just seeing the soap and touching it, we think there's a risk of overhydration, which might kill the lava. The lava. So we're going in dry and we're working the living daylights. James Bond. Out of here. See what happens. Oh, soap in the eye. Soap in the eye. Soap in the eye. Yeah, so you walk into the shave shops and there are ladies and gentlemen working there. What looks to be super rich people from Mayfair getting their haircuts or, or getting shaven, shaved. And you go, oh, hello, I'm a tourist. I actually said that in all of the four shops. Hello, I'm a tourist. <laughs> okay. Good way not to get a rebate. I said, hello, I have a very small YouTube channel. Um, I'm in awe of being here, so I'm making the tour of all the famous shops and the poor Swedish people never get to come here and see them so can we please um, can you please show my brethren and sistren videos of your fine shop and it was okay except for Trumper but as I said the, the staff at Trumper was really nice and and they make a dog shampoo because the owner loves dogs. I think this is going to be even worse. I have to ask my British friends how to do it because this is no good. I'm sure the soap is perfectly good. Can you see? Hmm. This is good TV, isn't it? I can't shave with this. I can try. Clearly not how it's meant to be. Could be Glide anyway, you know. This is what happens when you try things for the first time, but okay, maybe it's interesting to see. So, Parker Wedge. The racer is so damn fine, maybe. Maybe you don't 
Oh, look, it's drying up. It's quite slick though. Can you see almost no visible lather left? Still rather comfortable. <laughs> there is nothing left. Let's try the neck. You can can't even tell I have anything on it. Very comfy. Yeah, works fine. That's interesting. That's interesting. That can't really be the purpose or the meaning, can it? angrily slamming the door to the other bathroom so I understand they're upset I'm occupying it for 17 and a half minutes and I'm through past one so cool so uh, we'll need to practice on the Eucrit Eucris so instead also from the London shave shops Dr. Harris shaving stick shaving stick, the Arlington. Put a bit of water on. Ah. Yeah, it's good. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a lot of soap left. So it's, it's not a bad soap. I just don't know how to Lather it. Honestly, comfortable, comfortable first pass with a, a lather which isn't even visible. Okay, shaving stick, let's see how that goes. This was supposed to be f sophisticated and London y and everything, and it isn't. I don't use shaving sticks a lot. Usually, typically, best to put put the damn soap on when you do your first pass, and then that's, that's all you need. Because then you have more um, more hair, more stubble. We do what we can. See if we can whip something up here then. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is maybe almost half the Eucharist and half the Arlington, or maybe not quite, but there was quite a bit of trumper soap left. Wow, well, this is different. Hmm. So why the fuck did James Bond use Soap you can't leather. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm being bad to the comfort guys again. Hmm. More like a normal soap. Try not to kill it. Yeah. That'll do it.
not much. Don't kill me, says the ladder. I want to live. Don't drown me. Best, best, uh, sorry. Mm. Low battery. Best intros on YouTube out of the people I follow right now. And you must be careful because people make an effort. But my point of view, best intros right now. Red Island Shaver. <laughs> you need to check him out. And Knife to the Face. Knife to the Face also has a mailman that throws the mail at him. Very funny. You'll know if you watch. Okay. Jesus Christ. Contre le grain. Family police will come barging in the door. It's my wife. Any minute now. So we better hurry. This racer is awesome. Beautiful, iconic. Cat's hair does everything. Okay. Good, good, good. I killed it at work today. Is that an expression? I killed it at work. I felt I did. I was so good. Honest, I was the Hulk. Incredible freaking Hulk. Even my boss asked me happy weekend. So you can tell. trading like I am and you, and you do a good trade a buy or a sell or both such a high I did well today thank you good one Doctor blood no cut, just wear and tear. Like this Arlington, or the mix, like it. I'm super behind on videos, guys. When I travel and work a lot, I, I fall behind. I just don't have time, sorry. Just a bit slower. 
There you go. We're going on vacation tomorrow. Oh, to Miami. Love Miami. Been there a lot. Love it. Changes. First time I came was in '98, so it was over 20 years ago. Changed a lot. Still love it. Try and catch some baseball. It's the only sport that goes on. Miami Marlins. They're usually dead last. Doesn't matter. This soup smells so nice. They both do. Maybe the Londoners started out with colognes and then made soaps, I don't know. I think maybe the scents are better than the soaps. Be rude again. Don't worry, Brexit will come, you'll be rid of me. Good soap, actually. Good performance. Because this is a wedge. The wedges are cooler than other racers, but they're not as smooth. And there we are, Royal Le Shave. I'm gonna put a bit of water to my face and see what it feels like. Ah, it feels like I'm still freaking the Hulk, James Bond, everything at the same time. Stupendous, as the English might say. Really nice, really cool. So now I have to pack up all the shaving gear for the for the vacation trip, and I haven't decided what to bring in terms of razors or brushes. But the soaps, well, I was gonna bring this. Now I've tried it, so I may not. But other things I haven't tried yet that are new. This one. This one. Bring in those and tops platinum. The hard soap, not the tree. So bringing that, maybe something else, and um, maybe there's going to be a video from the trip. Who knows? Or from an alligator farm or something. Shaving alligators. Wow. Gotta check if that's legal. Bye.